Hello and welcome back. In this episode, I'm going to show you how I made this 41 wooden Chevy pickup. After cutting the truck from a block of wood, I separated the two pieces, the cab from the bed, and decided to work on the cab first. One of the things I knew I had to recreate on the original was this bump out area that wrapped completely around the cab. First thing I did was to cut a groove all the way around equally so I could put in another piece to fill it all in. Then I thinned out some toothpicks, wrapped them around the cab, and glued them all in place. Then I used some hobby wire for the crease in the hood, the middle of the windshield, and the trip trannel that went around each window on both sides. Then I began work carving in the front grille. This was done with a Dremel bit and some very thin files. Next was to do the headlights. This I made out of a dowel rod and then sanded it so it would fit evenly on the fender. And then I added another piece of toothpick on top just to make that little top groove. Next I started making the rear fenders for the bed which I drew out and cut out of a separate piece of wood. The front, both sides, tailgate, floor, and the little lights were all made separate and glued all together to make the bed of the truck. One of the things I had to do was make the running boards, and all I do for those is take a paint mixing stick, cut it out to size, and then glue on. To finish the front windshield, I took two toothpicks, thinned them down, and then glued them in place to complete the frame. The two bumpers were hand drawn and then cut out from a separate piece of wood. The two fog lights for the front bumper were made out of a doll rod and attached the front bumper with some hobby wire. The last things I made were the wheels which were carved out on my mini lathe and then I installed door handles on both sides. Just before painting I go over the whole truck with some 220 sandpaper and try to make it as smooth as I can before priming. The primer process is in three steps. First thing I do is take some Rust-Oleum sand wool primer, then re-sand everything with 220 400 grit sandpaper. Then I followed up with a primer filler and then a primer sealer, and then go on to paint. Instead of rust showing through, this truck had primer showing through, so I didn't really use much of a base coat. All I did was kind of make a couple of patterns, maybe some darker color gray, because that's what I wanted to show through. So I used the salt technique, and all I did was make some wet spots, put some salt on it, and then cover it with a very light coat of black. Then went back and brushed off and whatever was gray was what I wanted to show through. After I brushed off all the salt, this is the look that I got. Some areas are brushed with this, just brushed with the salt off. Some I used some steel wool to create it a little bit more fade and the leftover water spots just happened to create a peeled back clear coat effect on the hood. Once all the fading was all done, I just continued on with the rest of the details, painting the little chrome pieces on the hood, door handles, gas caps, even doing the little farm truck signage on both doors. Once all the details were all done and finished, the last thing I did was apply a few coats of matte clear coat. One of the last pieces that went on were the bumpers, which I airbrushed with primer and then a dark rust color. Another few details that I did was the wooden bed liner, which is a separate piece of wood that I cut to size and stained with a natural stain color. 
the chains on the tailgate were pieces of a necklace that I bought at a hobby store, and then airbrushed silver. And this was the final product, a wooden truck made from pieces of a three-quarter inch pine board, glued to a block, and then cut to shape.